Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. Our channel is all about the food. We do taste tests, recipes, grocery hauls, and what's for dinner. And I am here today with a grocery haul from Aldi. Guys, I went in there. I have never seen Aldi so packed and the shelves so bare. I really wanted to get their big bag of jasmine rice, but it was completely gone. There's a lot of stuff on the shelves that was gone or, or very low stock. Um, but I wanted to get some, just a few things because um, Howard will be working from home for the next um, couple of weeks at least because of the coronavirus. And so I um, just wanted to show you some stuff that I picked up. I just wanna make sure we had extra food on hand. So I'm gonna start out with some non-food items first. Um, oh, and I forgot to mention, I spent a total of $76.36. So the stuff that I remember the prices on, I'll be sure to tell you. So I've never actually picked up um, candles from Aldi. These candles were a really good deal. They were $3.99 each and I got three cents. And I decided to pick these up, number one, because of course they smelled good but also because they are soy blend, which I prefer soy blend candles um, over just the regular wax candles because they burn more evenly. So I got the um, lemon and thyme, lemon, thyme and sage, and it has a real earthy, fresh um, scent. And then I got the peach mimosa, which smells just like a peach mimosa. And then I also got the Easter basket, which is really fresh, um, like a floral scent. And these are three wick candles, so I can't wait to try these out. I also picked up some slow cooker liners because I am almost out of them. And there are four liners in here. Then I picked up a couple of bags of frozen green beans. I think I picked up, well there was one more bag of frozen green beans on the shelf and that was it. So I grabbed two bags. And then we all, I also grabbed a few canned item, canned food items, I cannot talk. Um, I grabbed two cans of the diced tomatoes. I grabbed a large can of pinto beans and two cans of the black beans. Um, you know, these are just quick meal and dinner ideas for us. Then I grabbed some cabbage. I plan on making some fried cabbage and I grabbed some um, broccoli crowns. I have two avocados in here that are not ripe um, yet because Howard likes to eat avocados with his beans, eggs, anything really. I grabbed a bag of the mandarin oranges. This is a three pound bag. Then I also grabbed two Caesar salad salad kits and we really like these. They're pretty inexpensive. So I grabbed two of those. And then I grabbed two bottles of cold pressed juice. Now these were on the shelf. Once you open them, you have to refrigerate them, but they were on the shelf. So I got um, the two that they had, the two varieties that they had. I got a raspberry blend. And the raspberry blend has raspberry puree, pomegranate juice, and cherry juice. And then I also grabbed a blackberry blend. And it has cranberry juice, blackberry puree, and blueberry puree. And I think that's something Howard and I will really like. And then I grabbed a four pack of um, sparkling orange juice. This is from Italy. There it is. And then, so I grabbed the stir fry kits last year and I was hoping that they brought them back this year and they did, so I was so excited. I got the teriyaki chicken stir fry and it's another two of us. Let's see if I can turn it over on the side so you can see it. So it comes with chicken, it comes with the noodles. Oops. And it also comes with sauce and sesame seeds. It's really, really good. Now these stir fry kits were $7.49 each. So I got the teriyaki chicken. And then I also got the Korean style spicy barbecue chicken. So they had both of these last year and they were really good. Howard and I both liked them a lot. So this is just a quick dinner idea. Then I got some chewy dipped. Now Alicia, the name of her channel is Alicia Lynn, did an Aldi haul not too long ago and she picked these up. She said her kids really like them. And so I said next time I go, I would definitely um, get some, but check out her channel. She does a lot of um, grocery hauls and Weight Watcher recipes and 
um, what we had for dinner based on Weight Watcher meals and just a lot of good cooking and baked goods and things like that. So check out our channel. And then also um, I grabbed some fresh sliced white mushrooms and a couple of packs of rotisserie seasoned um, cold cuts. Like I said, Howard's gonna be working from home. So I just wanted to have some stuff for lunch available and on hand. Then I grabbed these cookies. Um, I think these are just seasonal because you see the little clover right there. These are peanut butter melts. So I don't know if these are crunchy or soft, but they look pretty good. I hope they, they're crunchy. I grabbed a couple of boxes of chicken stock for recipes that I have coming up and I don't have any. And then I grabbed these just to have in the freezer. Um, these are breaded chicken breasts. Never had them before, patties I should say. But I'm hoping that they're like Tyson because I do like the Tyson breaded chicken breast patties. So hope those are like that. Then I also grabbed just a box of French toast sticks. I grabbed two bottles of the apple juice. And I just wanted to try out their sweet tea. This was at the cash register, so I just grabbed that. And then Howard likes lemonade. I've never bought their lemonade before, I don't think. Um, but I got a bottle for him to try, so. So this is it. This is everything that I picked up from Aldi. Hope you guys enjoyed this haul. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, I certainly hope you'll do so. See you guys next time.